All right, we're on to lesson two. Remember, each lesson for iReady is kind of broken up into different parts. So we are at session one of our second lesson. And we're going to continue learning about volume and using those unit cubes that we did last week. So just to review, um, I just want to go over what a unit cube is. On the left, you'll see that small cube there, and all sides are equal, making it an actual cube. In this case, with the centimeter markings, means it's a cubic centimeter. And on the right, um, we've got our, our solid cube there instead. So we would want to figure that out to find the volume. We would put unit cubes inside there, count them, and get our answer. So here's that first technique like I just described. We could put all those cubes in there until it's completely full, no gaps, right to the top and we would find out that there's 18 cubic centimeters. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you are already noticing that if you just take the measurements, the three centimeters, two centimeters, and three centimeters, and multiply them together, that also gets you 18. So that's great thinking. That's what we're gonna be doing here in the next couple of lessons. So instead of counting them individually, um, another technique I taught you is just to learn one layer. So for example, we could have just figured out one total layer. We know that one layer would have six cubes. And then we look at it and say, well, there's three layers. So it would be six plus six plus six, which would give us 18 total. And that's, again, another way to find your answer. So as a reminder, um, unit cubes can aren't just centimeters. They can be, as you see here, they can be um, one, each side will be one centimeter, so it's a cubic centimeter. Each side can be an inch, which would mean it's a cubic inch. Or they could be a foot, which is gives you a volume of one cubic foot. So any system of measurement can be used, not just those three. So keep that in mind. All right, so our learning targets for this lesson is we'll be able to measure the volume using those cubes and using those units we just discussed. And again, we'll just be using it just where we're placing those cubes inside of there to find that total volume. So you'll be going to page 17 in your textbook to copy down these following notes. All right, so this first part here, um, so Carl filled this clear box shown below with unit cubes and figured out the volume. What's the volume of the box? Now, if you're in class, you would, uh, had some space there to show a couple different ways you could have found it. Um, let's discuss those on the next page. Uh, so we know that each of those unit cubes was a, uh, had a si side of one foot, so it's done in cubic feet. And he could have just counted up those six boxes to give him the six cubic feet. But of course, uh, here's some other cubic units that could have been used. Again, Carl used this one over here on the right. That's cubic feet. But if it was centimeters, it'd be cubic centimeters. And inches would be cubic inches. So a way to remember this is you're literally, when you're saying cubic anything, you're describing the cube shape there. So keep that in mind. All right, so Carl has another box. And this time he's going to use uh, cubic inches to measure it so because his first box in the first question had uh, each side was a foot this one has he's going to use a unit cube that has one inside so he's going to use cubic inches so we would know that counting up all those boxes would give us six cubic inches and here's a good question to kind of see if you understand uh, what's going on with the different uh, measurements there. So what is the same and what is different about the volume of Carl's two boxes? Well, if you notice, they both have six, uh, have a measurement of six. However, the first box he did had cubic feet. The second box had cubic inches. So again, it's very important to pay attention to uh, what's what unit is being uh, unit of measurements being used? So because obviously an inch is much smaller than a foot, so that would make a big difference between the two boxes, even though they're similar 
in shape and ratio. All right, so your homework is go to Schoology, go to this week's folder, go to Monday, and there's a video link to review this lesson. And there's an interactive lesson we're going to try out through iReady. Uh, it's kind of like an interactive cartoon that also teaches you volume. So click the link and you do the finding volume using Unicube's assignment. And uh, once that's complete, you'll get full credit for it.